project where you see that we've assigned resources to the different tasks. And then on the other side, you see also that there are over allocations. It's Christian from Vision 6D. And when I'm consulting for companies, it's a situation that I meet quite often. The reason, for example, in the case of that project, that was the conception of the electronic part of a PTZ camera, PTZ standing for pan, tilt and zoom. In that situation, the project manager and the product owner they went together to review the different tasks they needed and then they said of course it's uh, electronic development so we need engineers designers developers and testers so they evaluated the different tasks and they assigned those resources but of course they didn't do an assignment where you enter into the details they said, OK, we need those people and well, they are going to look at how they handle the development. So what we are going to do, of course, if you want to do a tracking, a follow up on this uh, project, you need to have removed all those over allocation in order to baseline the project and to do a correct follow up or tracking of the project. So I'm going to look with you how we solve those a bit more complex over allocations issue. And for this, we are going to use the resource usage diagram that MS Project is providing us as tool. We are going now to use the resource usage. For that, I go in the left margin, right button. I select down resource usage. And here I find a new view. In that view, I find here down all the tasks, but organized by resources. If I take the first resource, which is the PM, it's the project manager, we see that the PM is involved in three tasks. Validate document version 1, adaptation for version 2, and validate version we find a work column where we can see that the first task is there for 40 hours, the second also, and the third also, which makes a total for the PM of 120 hours involvement into this project. If I go now to the right side of the view, we see here that we have a column entitled details where we see the work the planned work and if i'm sliding down the chronology the timeline here we see that slowly we have the work appearing if i select now the first task that i have here inside validate document version one we see that the, the PM is involved on that task eight hours per day during five days, that is to say a week. Those five hours time five, it's what makes the total of work of 40 hours. If I look the other resources, we see that there is the product manager for 160 hours and below we have engineer one. Engineer one is in red and has also the red man flag. We see that the total hours for engineer one are 960 into this project and they are also in red. Red values like that, this means that this um, resource is over allocated. If we look now at the other resources, we see also that Engineer 2 and QA1, which is the electronic tester, they are also over allocated. To locate the jobs that are over allocated, I go down the, the timeline till I see some elements that are also in red. 
we, we must understand that the grade line is the total per day and we see that here engineer one is supposed to work eight hours on prepared test equipment as well as eight hours on power supply and of course he is over allocated by eight hours i have the possibility to add over allocation information in the calendar for this i have to be on the central column the details one and there with the right click you see that i can add other information so what i'm selecting is over allocation and of course it extended everything so if we look at engineer one we see now that every line in the calendar has now another line which is entitled over allocation and what interests me here is at the level of the total where we still have work 16 hours but you see that we have now eight hours per day that have been added as over allocation like that we know that that first day we have eight hours of over allocation to solve the over allocation on engineer one the first day where we see that there are eight hours of over allocation we have in fact two tasks power supply and prepare test equipment on which engineer one was assigned eight hour to work on each task of course this cannot be done we are going to say that he will work only four hours on this so i'm coming here up and i'm keying four and we see that the overall allocation has now been reduced by four hour and i will do the same for the second task here and we see that the over allocation has disappeared what we also notice it's that the total hours for power supply has been reduced as well as for prepared test equipment it has also been reduced by four hours this is one way to proceed my proposition is to extend this to the other four days of the week to do that i'm coming here like we would do with excel and i'm going to extend those values and now i'm going to do the same also for the same task and we can see that for this week we have no more over allocation and the work has been reduced for the power supply from 80 hours to 60 and to prepare test equipment from 160 hours to 140 hours for the following week we see that engineer one is also on in over allocation he's performing in fact two tasks during those week hardware development and device driver which is the software development of course i could reduce this as we did the first time by saying he is working four hours on one task and four hours on the other task each day but sometimes it's not really efficient to switch during one day your activities so what i'm going to propose you it's to say that he works the three first day just on the hardware and then the two last days he is going to work on the device drivers so i'm simply going here and saying that on thursday and friday he is not going to work on the uh, on the hardware part and on the three first days he is not going to work on the device drivers Like that we see that we've reduced now the over allocation from the first week i still have over allocation which are on the second week after when he is doing the same tasks and i'm going to do exactly the same like that we've now have two weeks where he's performing 
those hardware and software device drivers development where we don't have any more over allocations. Now, you need to be aware that the number of hours have been reduced for the hardware and for the device driver. This means that the budgeted work hours have changed and consequently also the costs of those tasks have been reduced. Remember that we always multiply the cost per hour by the number of hours. So if you reduce the number of hours, it will be less costly. So this means that when you have a budget in terms of hour and the budget in terms of costs for a project, over allocating resources is increasing the budget in terms of hours and increasing the budget in terms of costs. And when you solve the over allocation, you are reducing those elements. So you need to be aware that over allocation is increasing the cost and increasing the budget of hours. There are still a few tasks for engineer one which are over allocated. They are here, namely conception of the motor drivers, uh, the signal board computer, and he has to prepare some tests. So we see that during those days, which we find on two weeks, every day he is working or scheduled to work 24 hours. So of course there are 16 hours of over allocation. I'm proposing that uh, for the motor drivers, he is going to work two hours on the single board computer where it's the, the main part, he's going to work four hours and the test, he's going to work two hours also. This is one way to, to solve it, of course, that you can yourself have your own way and try them. We see that over allocations on engineer one have totally disappeared. This is a good point and really excellent that you could follow till here. We have engineer two and QA one, which are in over allocation. I'm going to use the same principle to solve those over allocations. Well then, we managed. This way to solve over allocation is the most accurate. You've learned to use that resource usage view. This view is also the one that you are going to use when you do the weekly follow up of your project. I'm Christian from Vision 6D, and it's a pleasure to exchange those knowledges with you. See you soon for another module. Bye-bye.